all right so let's begin with creating a flutter project so first you need to uh, type this command which is flutter create under your project name so in my case it's epic weather so it will take some time and uh, after this let's install dependencies At the first we have flutter svg which is used for rendering the svg icons in our app and second we have flutter charts which generally shows the charts over here and third we have sembast which is generally a no sql database which stores the data into our storage and fourth we have get storage so this is like a storing the key values and fifth we have http which is used for launching the urls and sixth we have geolocator so which uh, determines the user's location and seventh we have connectivity so just checks whether the internet connection that the user enabled it or not and eighth we have cache network image so it's generally used for uh, getting the images from the network and ninth we have url launcher which is just used for launching the url and tenth we have local notifications which is used to display the local notification to the user at the eleventh we have work manager and this generally schedules the background work. Alright, let's start linking our assets. So you can find these links on my description. So just don't forget to check it out. And also, let's create these folders. So we have a bunch of folders. Let's uh, get into it one by one. Also, you can find this source code on my description. Just don't forget to check it out. Alright, so first we're just in a main.dot file in which the app first uh, check this main.dot file initially and we're just redirecting this uh, page into home page. So that's what uh, I just given in app settings. So this is the current location and I'm just initializing this and also I'm just redirecting this page into the home page. And also I just given a title which is epic weather and add, also added a font family. Alright, so let's get into the API. So we have linked our API uh, URL over here, which is vnowherocoapp.com. So this is the URL which uh, all these data are provided by uh, this URL. And then we're gonna fix all those data from the URL, I mean from the API, then, and then we're gonna display it to the user. So we just have a get cities and get cities by location and also the full weather. So everything we're gonna be displaying it to the user. And right now we're just in a database. As you can see that uh, I have just I have this uh, home page initially after uh, picking up my location. So this is generally stores under database database, which is the storage locally. So then we just have a couple of uh, methods like get location, find location, uh, update location, and add location. So uh, all these things are just to determine the location and also perform some respective tasks. So then we just have the print location, which just uh, prints down the location, and also we just gonna have, give the user to clear the location as well. So then we're gonna move on to the location model dot dot file. Right here we're gonna fix all those details from API and we're gonna set its uh, respective variables. So then we, uh, we're we gonna uh, get those uh, terms uh, from the API. So you can uh, click that API and you can find it as well. So I'm just uh, initializing and uh, setting all those data over here. And then let's move on to temperature model dot dot. So in this temperature model dot dot, which is, uh, which is gonna determine its time, weather and the temperature and we're gonna display it to the user. So then we have home binding. So it's just uh, redirecting the home binding to home controller. So inside home controller, we have a couple of things like fetching the APIs and also we're gonna, uh, we're gonna display, we're gonna set the data and uh, display it to the user so as well. So then we have, uh, we, we're just gonna determine the temperature and uh, we're gonna show it to the user. And also we have, uh, down view and we have a couple of things like uv index uh, humidity and wind uh, as well so we're gonna show that uh, in terms of uh, their respective units and also we're gonna design its uh, temperature so using uh, uh, the children box and all those stuff we're gonna align those things in a right position and also we're gonna display it to the user using the api and then we let's move on to the switcher view dot dot so uh, we're gonna switch the user to uh, 
to today i mean to today and uh, if you if the user wants to uh, know the weather of tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna sh- switch uh, page to tomorrow so that's what uh, it's generally mean so then we let's move on to the app team dot dot so this team dot dot contains generally of uh, different colors and various assets as well so all these things will be using in um, home screen and other uh, other parts of uh, other parts of this app as well and then let's move on to connectivity dot dot as i said before this connectivity is used to determine its uh, whether the user is turned on this is or her internet connection or not so then we're going to just uh, check this up and we're going to display that you you have uh, you have all the rights to use that or not and then let's move on to the day convert so it's generally a day conversion so uh, let's let's uh, let's say that it's monday as one and others as uh, some respective numbers and then let's move on to the geolocator dot dot so we're going to determine the users uh, location and we're going to display the users uh, whether the users locations whether as well and then let's move on to the local notification so this part where uh, we're going to displaying it the local notification i mean the local notification of today's weather as well also we're going to show a chart using flutter chart dependencies and also we're going to set the notification to the user and display it as well so at this part uh, we're going to display the users uh, weather i mean today's weather so if i want to know uh, i want to know that uh, today's weather so i need a notification so that i can uh, easily see the weather so that's what uh, this local notification dot dot generally mean all right so let's jump over to common components dot dot so in this common components dot dot we just converting the asymmetric values to symmetric value and then we just displaying that uh, in a proper order that's it so this is what this uh, common components dot dot generally means and then uh, we just also converting those uh, temperatures and also the uh, humidity as well and then let's move on to home view components dot dot so in this home view components we're going to set its uh, respective uh, icons and also the its respective svg files so that uh, we we just uh, we just need to show in a proper order and also in uh, we, we need to make our app elegant so that we are just uh, aligning and setting all those things over here and also we just have this uh, location builder so it just uh, builds out the location we're going to set the user uh, to check its location and also we're going to uh, change the location precise as well so then we're going to design its uh, buttons and also the temperature units in uh, degrees and fahrenheit as well and then let's uh, let's jump over to the theme so theme uh, we just have two types of theme which is uh, light theme and the dark theme mostly uh, most people likes dark theme so that uh, we are also implemented uh, dark theme in, uh, in this app as well so then we just uh, going to show the weather updates so every two hours the uh, uh, we have three options like uh, we, we we can uh, give the options like every two hours and every six hours and every 12 hours so users can pick whether uh, uh, on which uh, perfect timing uh, they need this uh, notification so then uh, we just designing it over there and then let's move on to location view component dot dot so in this uh, we just uh, going to uh, determine the images and also those uh, weathers from the apis and uh, we need to initialize that in our app so that's why we are just uh, declaring and uh, initializing it over here and also we just uh, we just also need the user to change its uh, weather uh, weather location let's let's imagine that if i am going to um, california and then uh, i need to uh, determine some uh, some other uh, locations weather i'm going to uh, need that weather and not the initial weather so that's why uh, we're going to change its uh, respective weather using the location uh, location uh, so using the location so we just uh, using those uh, geo locator uh, to remind the weather uh, geo locator uh, which have uh, implemented dependencies and also we just initializing it over here and also i'm just designing those boxes and also those uh, perfect icons so then let's move on to temperature chart dot dot so this temperature chart generally denotes the chart generally and then uh, we just uh, we just going to show the users that uh, you just the graph goes like this and the weather keeps on increasing or decreasing so that's what this uh, temperature chart dot dot generally mean and also we cannot denote the indicator as well so in terms of uh, degree celsius and fahrenheit so we're going to show the charts in two different types which is in uh, degree celsius and also in degree fahrenheit
as you can see that we have three buttons which is back and uh, add location and uh, uh, a location arrow maximum this is used to determine our current uh, location so right now i'll just uh, add a temporary location which is uh, nearby nearby city so i'll just add a uh, new york so sometimes it just lacks in fetching the apis and uh, don't forget to wait for a while and also check your internet action so this is the screen this is the app which we are designed personally i love it uh, really well this is santosh aron and i'll catch up in the next one